Hey, man. I love my hair when it's like this, you know what I mean? But, um, advertisement, pay me like 30 cents or something. You know I'm making money, right, by doing this? Because I got ads on my videos. I watched a YouTube video that taught me how to, um, taught me how to do all this fancy setting stuff that I can, I'm definitely not going to remember, even if I did it a hundred more times. I've only done it once on my channel. So now I got like a four section. You got like basic editing, advanced editing. And like settings, and then you got this basic, advanced, and then where it would normally say settings. Settings is over here, and the third one, so it's like normal, normal here, here, and then there's monetization. If you click on the monetization thing <clears throat> after you make your video, and then in the top right of YouTube, there's a thing that says like upload. You click upload, and then it, there's a little big thing in the middle of your screen that's like click on it and you go through your camera and it see, shows you pictures and I usually recognize the background because it's always a little different because it shows like a little um, thumbnail or a picture of the video so um or sometimes I just watch it before I go it and I'll or memorize because it has it's like a b six four five two video a three two something like that you no know? so yeah but uh, yeah, it's the weekend. My grandma just bought a new house. My parents just got back from their honeymoon and of a cruise, the carnival cruise. And it was some parts of it were pretty cool and some parts kind of sucked. But I wasn't there, so I don't really know all that much. But they stopped at the caravan, no, Cariv Caribbean Islands or uh, Oh man, it keeps on going away, and, but it'll come back to me sometime. But so, um, the Grand something island. So, but oh uh, yeah, 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 I got me some money from here, man. Look at this. Watch me. Watch. That's British money. Even though it's on, like, the United States waters and stuff. Um, and then their quarters. It's like, dude, these don't get rusty, so it's like, it looks all shiny and new. So, I'm gonna hang this up on, like, a poster, like, right there on my wall. Or a, a frame or whatever. So, they got back from all that, all that other stuff. And, um... My uncle got a pool from his stepmom's house because some um, black folks from um, North Carolina moved in. And they were like, you can have that pool. And they bought a pool just like it when we went to get the stuff. My uncle has a, like a trailer thing he made himself with like welding or something. Or he bought it and he, he welded it and made it all new and put some wood sides on it. And on the back part, he has this little board that he sticks inside of it. And there was also wood to make a deck on the thing. They were giving us like $500 worth of wood, which is apparently a, a lot for basically free. And it was kind of a steal. Pretty cool, right? Not for them. Well, they said it's okay, so I guess so. Sounds bad, but it's true. So, um, basically, they we had like a steal deal. and But it broke his trailer, so we had to walk. We had to drive with it this close to the road. And we passed, like, an inspection station where officers are watching all the cars passing by. And we got lucky. And then the second time we came through, we just got the pool. And the pool's all wet and heavy. It had green water. But now it's brand new. And this doesn't make any sense to you, but it was over there. My grandma didn't like it there, and it was on uneven ground. So my uncle moved it that way. From over there to over there to my his house that's uh, still on our property. Um, my, my grandma still doesn't kind of want it here, but mom was going to have it. It's pretty cool either way. And it'll be set up by tomorrow. And, yeah, man. Um, it's brand new now, because he drained all the water that was still dirty. And then also he put these chemicals in it that made all the stuff disappear while it was in the water. Now, the water that, you know, has stuff in it that doesn't look like it has stuff in it, that's pretty bad. You know, but... So also on my cruise, my parents went to Mexico and got me a few different shirts. I wore one to school today. This shirt changes colors and um the sunlight. I don't know what that say.
Uh, or that today. Am I? Um, oops. Am I six period? Am I six period class? Period. Period. You know that Nelly two per thing. <laughs> I always do that as a bad habit. I do it on purpose, but act like it's a bad habit, whatever. So, um, I acted like, um, I was, um, oh yeah, my sixth period teacher, Miss Strati's her name, that's all I'm saying, can't say number four, so I can get in trouble, she's going to Nigeria for a mission trip with her church, I'm a Christian too, so, like, a school, and we made these puppets today, and it's like a glove, you shove the middle finger down inside of it, and then you glue it down, and that's like, and then, these two of the glove are the feet, and then you put these as the hands, and you gotta stuff the hands too, as like that or whatever. Mm. Dang, it's so hard to do that. I'm looking on camera. But basically, we made it look like a person, and we stuffed it and put some stuff in it. And there was this cotton we stuffed it with, and I got my shirt all like messed up with cotton, my black skull shirt I just showed you. I got this thing that says El Playera, I think that means the player shirt. Parents pick this up for a few, few pesos, like, like 400 pesos, so it's like five dollars. And my parents always buy this really expensive flip-flop brand called Margaritaville, and they always go on this website called Wish and get like 500 dollar wedding rings for like 30 cents and stuff. It's pretty cool, but they don't got video games or anything. So she got me a Margaritaville, um, like 50 dollar shirt. I don't really like shirts with pictures on the back, but hey, I'll wear it because it's another shirt, you know. Um, that's that. My grandma recently bought a new house. Um, I'll have to give you a tour of that sometime. Um, it's been here maybe two weeks now. Not even that. A week, maybe. And um, my uncle, I got all these stretch bands. Can you see it on camera? Uh, no, you can't. You probably look weird doing that, but... Um, I put a rope around me, tied it to this tree because they're about to put up light poles. They could do it underground, but that would cost extra money. My grandma's not spending that because she just spent, spent like $80,000 on this house and new furniture and stuff. So my uncle put this banner around me, held me, like pulled me, and the tree's like this lamp or something. So I'm like being pulled by my uncle with this rope around the tree. And it ended up hurting me, and that was the only way we were getting stuff done. So we was waiting for his girlfriend that he's about to get married to, slash my aunt. Her name's Allie. And when Allie gets home, she's going to, like, use his vehicle that she uses to go to the work at the gym in Live Oak. Right? Never said that. Um, so she's, um, sponsored me. I'm sp or sponsoring. Um, you pay me extra money, please. You know, some pickle salt for 30 cents a... My parents brought this, um, they bought these at a dollar store before they went to Mexico and kept them for me. They meant to give them to me because they have a cat and a dog. No, they don't. It's a lie. They just got a cat. They're like a dog. Not that here at the house. And spent last night here. But when I got home, they were gone. But I knew that was going to happen, so I wasn't, I was sad, but I wasn't sad. Pay me, pay, pay me a couple dollars, please. Eat this stuff. It's the best stuff in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Pay me a whole bunch of these. Give me, give me like 50,000 of these too, please. You know, each one of those, you know, it's a dollar 25 cent because um, money works the same. It's just different shapes and sizes and look different. Each of those in American dollars is like 50 American dollars, no joke. I drink Starbucks. Mm. 